Champs is brought to you by Lawrence Technological University, where possible is everything. The Varsity Shop Training Center, Oakland County's premier sports training and instructional facility. The Suburban Collection, make the choice. And Metro PCS, wireless for all. Coming to you this week from Callahan Hall on the campus of U of D Mercy. It is the Detroit Public School League's biggest night of the year, the Boys and Girls Basketball City Championships. For the first time ever, just two schools representing in both games, Pershing and Martin Luther King. Welcome one and all to another edition of State Champs. My name is Lauren Plant. All right, here's what else we got for you this week. In girls basketball, a couple of state powers got together, Country Day and Inkster. We head downriver to Wyandotte for the wrestling team region championship and we've got a barn burner of a high school hockey matchup between Dearborn Divine Child and Gross Point South. We update our Suburban Collection High School Hockey Player of the Year race and in the buzz Tom Markowski's talking Mr. Basketball. So let's do this. You Metro PCS High School Highlights. We begin on the hardwood in Beverly Hills, Michigan. A pair of independent star lady squads going at it. Class A's 10th ranked Inkster on the road against Class B's 4th ranked Detroit Country Day. Inkster coming off a mammoth win over previously unbeaten Lansing Waverly. First quarter, Michigan recruit Kelsey Mitchell. The long ball to Ariana Taylor. A breakout senior season. Taylor had 11 and is averaging 16 points a game. The most decorated girls basketball program in state history. Country Day is once again getting it done 16-1. Asia Doss the steal, the Dayton commit Amber Dean the soft hook. But DCD trailed 17-16 after the first. The Yellow Jackets beat the Vikings at their house last season. Inktown looking to return the favor. Second quarter, Taylor with the bomb to Jamie Madden, the soon-to-be University of Texas El Paso minor, the hoop and the harm. Back comes Country Day. The senior Dean will take it away from Paris McLeod. Leia, CD up one at the half, 26-25. Important to note, the Yellow Jackets were without their injured Miss Basketball candidate in aerial powers, so others would have to step it up. Dean will feed Mary Kate McLean and the senior from the top of the key. Inkster, 14-5 overall, 6-3 on the road, staying within striking distance. Madden will find the sophomore Victoria McLeod. That's a triple. She had 15, and Inkster was down three into the fourth. The rest of the way, however, all country day. Doss delivering to a wide open Dean who drops the bunny. Amber with an impressive game high 28 points. To finish it up, Doss with another theft, the easy deuce. The budding sophomore star finished with 11. Detroit Country Day with a statement win over the defending Class A state champs, 65 to 52 the final. We make our way downriver to Wyandotte for a Division I Team Wrestling Regional Championship match. Southgate Anderson versus the Kicking Mules, representing Temperance Bedford. Mules in red seeking revenge. Southgate beat Bedford in last year's regional. We begin at 112. The number one ranked wrestler in this class, Mules junior Mitch Rogaliner taking on Dylan Yeager. Mitch, the half Nelson, and the pin. Bedford trying to get back to Battle Creek for the first time in four years. At 119, junior Mitchell Powlek head to head with Logan Parks. Powlek the high crotch to a double leg takedown. Bedford wins the first two matches on the night. Southgate looking for a second straight trip to the Serial City. To 125 we go. Junior Titan Raven Schmidt matched up with Bryce Davis. Schmidt in control throughout. The single leg to a dump. The Titans on the board. We move to 130. The state runner up in this class a season ago. Titans Alex Malloy taking on Trent Tershot. Alex topples Trent with the sweet double leg takedown. He'd later get the win. But this fourth ranked mule machine is hungry and surging. At 140, ranked ninth individually, senior Al Regener up against Jacob Below. Regener would counter the headlock and the takedown for two. Al would claim victory. To 145 we go. Bedford senior Nate Stevens had been so sick lately, doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong. Cost him at the individual districts. Better now and up against Josh Lockwood. Stevens counters the Lockwood lock with the fireman's carry. Mules with a comfortable lead. But Anderson wasn't giving up. At 152, Titan sophomore Cody Stanley in charge over Ben Bialis. The cradle and the pin finish. That put the Titans back in the thick of things. Bedford wasn't having it. 
171 pounders, senior captain John Praisner and Jacob Debus doing battle. Praisner dominated. The half Nelson pound the mat. The kicking mules took the final six matches. The heavyweights, Bedford senior Logan Rimmer is the number one grappler at 285. David Velez didn't stand a chance. Logan executing the Turk, that's all she wrote. Bedford rejoices back to the Elite Eight for the first time since 1998. Time now to take a look at the latest from Lawrence Technological University. An education like the one students can get at Lawrence Tech is a great building block for a successful career. But what's even more important is finding somewhere where you can actually put those skills to use. And the Career Services Department at LTU does a fantastic job helping their students get a head start in their industry. The Career Services Department is a very valuable asset to students no matter where they stand in their career progression. And as Department Director Peg Pierce will share, the helpful members of Career Services make it their goal to be a guiding force for each student's career path. We want to be part of our students' lives from the day that they step on campus until they evolve into their new career um, as a professional. Um, I always tell students that your career over the next four years is being a student. And your faculty will give you the content, uh, will be your content experts. But we help you with figuring out how you make that transition from your student life into your professional career. And a lot of what we do is designed to help you develop your career plan from the time you're a freshman until you leave the university. Finding a job in their respective fields can be a daunting task for recent graduates, especially with today's uncertain economy. But according to Pierce, LTU students are at the top of the list for potential employers. Our students are getting jobs, and uh, the national average is about 55% right now. It's been a difficult economy these last few years, and we've felt it just like everybody else has. However, uh, right now, we're looking at about an 87% placement rate within one month of graduation. And uh, I can assure you that uh, our phones are ringing off the hook with employers calling us. We're uh, dealing with all sorts of uh, needs in the marketplace, and employers are looking for recent grads to fill those needs. This once again goes to show how devoted the LTU faculty and staff are to providing their students with all the necessary tools to be a successful industry professional from enrollment to graduation and beyond. I'm David Faze from Lawrence Tech for State Champs. Experience everything Lawrence Technological University has to offer at ltu.edu. Lawrence Tech, possible is everything. Coming up, the lamp lit so many times it burned out in this Michigan Metro Hockey League showdown. Stick and stay with State Champs. Hi everyone, Savannah Ciavada here at the Suburban Honda in Farmington Hills. Is this the year you finally get rid of your tired old ride? I'm here with sales manager Tim Tharp to talk about one of the hottest Hondas out there. Thanks Savannah. This is our 2012 Civic LX. It leases for $199 a month with no money out of your pocket. It's been a great seller, great vehicle, great vehicle for your family. Thanks Tim. Suburban Honda is conveniently located on Haggerty Road in Farmington Hills. Don't forget to check out their pre-owned deal of the week coming up a little later in the show. The movement has begun for thousands of people. A new way of thinking. A liberation. Freedom from contracts and fine print. Freedom to move through life to their own beat. To stay connected without having to disconnect from their money. That's why everybody's moving to Metro. Are you ready to reach your New Year's resolution goals? You can achieve those goals with the exciting new 90 Day Health Challenge. This new program is made in Michigan and is transforming people across the nation. Lost 35 pounds, went from a 36 waist to a 32 waist, and uh, the good news is I've kept it off. I am 80 pounds lighter, no longer a size 22, I'm a size 4. Log on to statechamps.tv to reach your health goals with the Body by V 90 Day Challenge.
Welcome back to State Champs. Both the PSL Girls and Boys City Championship games are coming your way, so hang in there. But first, in boys hockey, when we took a look at the schedule and we saw that Gross Point South and Dearborn Divine Child were getting together, we figured that'd be a good game. We had no idea how good it would be as we continue our Metro PCS High School Highlights. A lot of different things in the breakouts. There's got to be a lot of communication, a lot of heads up play during the course of uh, this game tonight. A lot of pressure, a lot of speed. It's going to be a good test for us. How about a Michigan Metro League East Division matchup between Divine Child and Gross Point South? This was an absolute goal fest. Divine Child and White, 9 and 2 in league play and ranked sixth in the state in Division Three. We pick it up first period. DC already up one zip. Austin Pearson gets it to Anthony Scala, and he beats CJ Scheibel. The sophomore defenseman puts the Falcons up a pair. Gross Point South, ranked fifth in Division Two, but undefeated in the East Division, winners of 11 straight. Later in the first, the senior Nolan Monfort with the trailer. Backhand is by Steve DePaulis. Blue Devils down a goal. Now South beat DC 4-3 back in early January. GPS would find the net yet again a few minutes later. Monfort in the deep, the perfect setup for Jeff Welsher. Happy birthday, Jeff. It was tied at two after the first. Divine Child would jump out to start the second period, and this is what you call tic-tac-toe. Mike Leporowski to Evan Heiss, over to Pearson. Textbook, the team's leading scorer gets the Falcons back up a goal. But every time DC delivered, the Blue Devils responded. Just a few minutes later, the senior forward Andrew Addy is just gonna walk in and pick his spot. South added another to go up four to three. Still in the second, here come the Falcons again. Wouldn't call this game a defensive standout for either squad. Here, Pearson shot is denied, but junior Mike Perry in there to bang the rebound. Tie game again at four apiece. Just before the end of the second, Falcons looking to take the lead. Check out the senior Spencer Laird. Pass Scheibel, DC up five to four. But that lead's short-lived. Shane Sparkman will get the puck to Addy, and he deposits his second on the game. Knotted at five, heading into the final period. It's a shootout, and it's 5-5. Five, five. They haven't been one of these all year. The team that bears down more in the third period to play some defense and defense zone, picks people up, because the team's going to end up winning this game. This was a shootout. In the third, it would be Pearson going upstairs for his second goal on the contest. Falcons back up 6-5. But GP South recently knocked off one of the best teams in the state at the recent showcase, TC Central. They just find ways to respond. Welser's shot is stopped by DePaulis, but Monfort is there to put in the rebound. That's the hat trick. This wild shootout would end in a 6-6 tie. Let's take a timeout to update our Suburban Collection High School Hockey Player of the Year race. Our inaugural run at determining who is the number one high school hockey player in the state of Michigan was clearly a good idea. You, the fans, have weighed in with well over 225,000 votes. Three candidates are the top scoring guys in their conference. The KLAA Scott Cuthwell of Waterford Mott, the OAA's James Nahikian of Troy, and the MIHL's Mackenzie McKeckard of Brother Rice. As far as who's leading the fan vote, that honor belongs to Wyandotte's Tyler Grote as he approaches the 60,000 vote threshold. Our lone goalie, Trenton's Blake Watala, sits in second with nearly 50,000 tallies cast. We will choose our Frozen Four regardless of the vote. However, the leading vote getter will earn an automatic berth. Head to statechamps.tv and click on the Suburban Collection vote box on the homepage to weigh in. Good luck to all the icers. Don't go anywhere. It was Upset City at Callahan Hall on Thursday night in the PSL Championships. Ladies first, next. The movement has begun for thousands of people. A new way of thinking. A liberation. Freedom from contracts and fine print. Freedom to move through life to their own beat. To stay connected without having to disconnect from their money. That's why everybody's moving to Metro. Looking for all the latest high school hoops and football recruiting news? Join the conversation and tune in to the new State Champs High School Basketball and Recruiting Show every Friday night from 9 to 11 p.m. on 1130 a.m. WDFN. 
the Detroit News' Tom Markowski, and yours truly, Lauren Plant, will bring you up-to-date scores and stories, including player and coach interviews. Presented by Lawrence Tech University, it's the State Champs High School Basketball and Recruiting Show, Friday nights from 9 to 11 p.m. on WDFN, The Fan. Thanks for staying with State Champs. We are really happy that you are with us. Well, in girls basketball, Martin Luther King is really tired of losing to Detroit Pershing. In fact, the Doe girls have beaten the Lady Crusaders the past four times, including the 2009 and 2010 PSL semifinals. But this is not the semis. This is for the championships as we finish up our Metro PCS High School Highlights. Your reward is the championship, and y'all deserve it. Y'all, this is it. This is it. I want y'all to come out. Y'all gonna come out smoking. Y'all gonna come out hot. Y'all gonna come out ready to win. That's the attitude y'all gotta have. The Doe girls hoping to keep alive their dominant multi-year winning streak over the Lady Crusaders. Third-ranked Persian gunning for their first city crown in four years. First quarter, Kings Lachey Geeter stuffed by Monique Howard. Ball in the hands of the newly named Miss PSL Caprice Dennis. Up and under, but that was her only bucket in the first half. The Lady Crusaders trying to get Coach William Winfield his 16th city title, and they can run the floor too. Geeter, the outlet to Lakita Hart in transition, uncontested. But King was down five after the first. To the second quarter, with Dennis struggling to score, the junior Nigel Hill stepped up her perimeter game for Pershing. Knocking down one of her six triples on the night, she finished the game with a team high 27. So here is King, trying to avenge an early season 58-53 loss to Pershing. The Lady Crusaders outscored the Doe girls 15-5 in the second. Sophomore Marty Gray's calling glass. King took a 20-15 lead into the locker room. We need the ball. Like, you finish the job or rebound the ball, that has to continue. What we want to do is go out there and what? And get the first three or four baskets. That's what we want to do. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed, King would go out and get the first three buckets. Junior Antonia Hayes with the drive and the dish to heart for the bunny. But just one loss and 16 wins for the Doe girls this season. Always a knack to come back. Just before the end of the third, Dennis the bounce pass to the senior Janae Hill. Pershing trailed 32-29 heading into the final quarter. Now King is ranked fourth in the state and was 16-2 coming into the game. This time, no letdown in the fourth. Getting to the old glass. Hayes, her own rebound, then kicks to the junior Takira Height. That's her fourth dagger from downtown. Takira continue to take her game to new heights. Hayes in transition to Height. Who gets it to go? Coming off the bench, Takira had 18 crucial points. King up 43-38. But no quit in Pershing. The Miss Basketball hopeful Dennis with her signature scoop shot. Only six points on the night for Caprice, but the Doe girls were only down one. 12 seconds left now. Pershing down three. Dennis with a chance to tie it from long range, but King freshman Janae Williams the strip, and that would do it. Martin Luther King wins 50 to 47. First city championship in six years. They beat us for three years in a row. I'm an 11th grader, they beat me three years. Well, they ain't gonna beat me no more. They ain't gonna beat it no more. So it feels good to actually defeat them. It feels the best, it's the best, it feels good. The high school highlights are presented by Metro PCS. Wireless for all. Our suburban collection main event is moments away. Would King make it a PSL clean sweep? Find out when state champs return. We go back to Suburban Honda for this week's pre-owned deal of the week. Let's say you're getting ready to buy your son or daughter's first car. There are many choices, but none as clear or right as the Honda Civic. A stellar safety rating and excellent reliability, this 2009 Civic is Honda certified with just 24,000 miles. A quick four-cylinder, automatic, power everything inside. Visit Suburban Honda on Haggerty in Farmington Hills and make the choice. 
Get ready for opening weekend, Michigan High School football, Midtown Detroit style. Get ready for Adams Field on the campus of Wayne State University. Get ready for the most exhilarating, thrilling, and memorable weekend of the 2012 football season. Get ready for the prep kickoff classic. Two days, six games, 12 top Southeastern Michigan teams. Connect your business or your product to this unforgettable sold out event by plugging in as a sponsor. Log on to DetroitSports.org or contact Lou Batanti for more information. Reach the families, fans, players, coaches, and media by sponsoring the 2012 Prep Kickoff Classic. Coming to Detroit, August 24th and 25th, 2012. Are you serious about reaching your athletic goals? Then come to the Varsity Shop Training Center. The Varsity Shop Training Center is a premier sports training and instruction facility for athletes of all ages and abilities. Our full-time certified strength and conditioning staff can focus on all aspects of athletic development. Reach your full potential and log on to VarsityShopTrainingCenter.com or call 248-874-4920 and ask for the State Champs Varsity Club member discount. Welcome back to State Champs. Well, I don't have to tell you, the Detroit Public School League is a breeding ground for future household names in basketball. I mean, George Gervin, Jalen Rose, Derek Coleman, Spencer Haywood, just to name a few. Well, over the past 20 years, Detroit Pershing has been in the title tilt eight times, and they've won it four times, the last one in 2010. Surprisingly, Martin Luther King has not won the championship since 1999. The stage is set for the Suburban Collection main event. Everybody got to step up, be as one, man, like never before, man. I love all you guys, man. It, man, you know what I'm saying? We got a chance to do something real special. Brother. Unranked King in black trying to avenge an earlier loss to Pershing last month. 14-4 and four record on the season. We begin in the first quarter. Davon Austin sends a cross-court pass to the recent Michigan football commit, Dennis Norfleet. That is a straight flush from behind the line. Pershing coming in unbeaten at 18-0, led by Iowa State recruit Sharon Dorsey Walker. Here, slashing to the 10, and one. Doughboys led by four after the first. The Pershing D was simply relentless in the first half. Shantez Williams gets discarded by Khalil Felder. The track meet is on. Darshan Woodson back to Felder for two. But the Crusaders would close the half on a 7-0 run. This is the senior southpaw Marquan Armstrong training in topside. We were tied at 30 at the break. Doughboys would jump out to start the second half. The senior Mr. Basketball candidate Dorsey Walker draining the triple. He finished with 12 in the contest. But that was about the time that King's leading scorer Malik Albert started to feel it. Here, the hesitation and to the rack with success. Still in the third, King making the most of second chance opportunities. Northfleet the dribble drive and the miss, but senior William Abbott with the put back jam. Heading into the fourth, Detroit Martin Luther King led 50 to 47. We to play hard, but more than anything, we gotta continue to play smart. Okay. Damn, y'all playing great right now. Y'all playing great. We just gotta finish. All right. Make y'all free throws. Y'all good. All right. To the final quarter we go. King staying in front. Albert leading the way. The big triple. 16 of his game high 29 points came in the fourth. But this is Pershing we're talking about. AW Canada's boys don't quit. Under two minutes to go in the contest. Doughboys down four. The junior Felder knocking down the three ball. He finished with 16. Pershing trailing 66 to 64. But King held both of Pershing's top two scorers scoreless in the fourth quarter. Dorsey Walker and Martez Walker. Albert swats away Martez, going the other way. The dish to Abbott who executes the emphatic exclamation point on this city championship. The underdogs are now top dogs. King upsets Pershing 76 to 69. First PSL title since 1999. 
All right, it's clear our primetime performer was none other than Malik Albert. Malik, first title in 13 years. You beat the number one team in the state, and no matter what happens from here on out, you guys are going to graduate with a city championship, man. So just tell me how you're feeling right now. I feel good. We just had to come out here and leave it all on the floor. Had a bad first half. Had to come out and keep my head in it, get my team involved, let the game come to me. The main event was powered by the Suburban Collection. Make the choice. Okay, well, joining us, as he always does, every week, Tom Markowski of the Detroit News. Time for this week's version of The Buzz. Tom, we know that ballots are going to be sent in regarding Mr. Basketball to BCAM. Who, in your mind, is going to win this year's 2012 Mr. Basketball competition? i got to go with Matt Costello out of Bay City Western. Signed with Michigan State, 6'10", 240, having a fabulous year. 24.5 points a game, 18.2 rebounds a game against King, who was playing in the PSL Championship game. He had 34 points, 26 rebounds, 4 assists, 8 blocks. He's doing it against some great competition, and I really think it's not even going to be close. Similar to what happened in 2006 when David Kuhl out of Grand Rapids South Christian ran away with the award. Now granted, you're going to have Denzel Valentine of Lansing Sexton on the list, and I really think Connor Tavi out of Warren D. LaSalle ought to be on that list. He's the best player in the Catholic League right now, but as far as the votes, it's all Matt Costello. He even has his own website, Matt Costello, Mr. Basketball 2012.com. Check it out. <laughs> all right, well, let's have a little fun then. Uh, let's say that this was open to all players, not just seniors. Would any underclassmen make the final ballot? Yeah, I think uh, James Young out of Troy would definitely make the ballot. I think James Young would get a lot of votes. He might even win the award because of where he's located. Southeast Michigan would give him a lot of votes. Matt would get a lot of votes out in the outlying areas like Lansing and Grand Rapids, having played at the Breslin Center last year. All right, we're going to take this conversation online. More of the buzz, the OT analysis with Tom Markowski. What is up with the fact that no Michigan Hoopsters are getting any national love this year? Well, I'll tell you what, that is all wrong. Matt Costello should be on the McDonald's All-America team. We'll talk more about that and also talk about an interesting situation at Detroit Community where Ray Reeves is not coaching. All right, you can find that conversation on our website, statechamps.tv. We invite you to find us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. We also invite you to join Tom and I every Friday night from 9 to 11 p.m. on the State Champs High School Basketball and Recruiting Show. It is on Detroit's 1130 WDFN on iHeartRadio. Thank you so much again for watching this week. We'll see you next week right here on State Champs. State Champs is brought to you by... Lawrence Technological University, where possible is everything. The Varsity Shop Training Center, Oakland County's premier sports training and instructional facility. The Suburban Collection, make the choice. And Metro PCS, wireless for all.